Just in case they ain't get the picture the first time around. I see you hate her. My motivator. Y'all make me greater. I got this 2021 Charger here. The owner just want me to paint the wheels black and paint the brake calibers red. So that's what we're going to be doing on this video here. We're going to be using some different clear that I had never used. We're going to see how that work out. I'm gonna pull it around here and get the wheels off. Then we'll start from there. I got the wheels off. Now I'm gonna clean them up before I start sanding on them because they had some arm oil on the tires. You don't wanna start sanding with that uh, wax and grease all over it. Cause it'll start interacting with your paint. You have problems on down the line. So I'm gonna get some soap and water and clean them up. Once you get the wheels clean, you need to get your Scotch Bright maroon Scotch Bright. I ain't gotta do no repairs, so the only thing I'm doing is scuffing the wheels up. Got my piece tour. Now I'm just gonna go around the wheel, scuff it up, put some scratches in it so the painter has some to burn to. Also gonna do the back side because I'm painting the back side as well. Plus I'm gonna do the same thing with the brake calibers. Once you dull the surface off, you're good to go. If you ain't got no maroon scotch bright, you can wet sand with 320 or 400 grit. It's all gonna serve the same purpose. It's gonna be the same process with the brake calibers. Using maroon scotch brake. Finished up with all the sand in there. All right, give me some fresh soap and water. Clean them on back up. Then I'll be ready to take them on the inside. I'm masking this rear brake caliber off now. I slid the road up some so I can get some tape alone here. Cause I'm trying not to get paint here. If I get paint here, I could just wipe it off. But I got it masked off right there. Then I'm just gonna slide it down to it, meet the uh, brake pad, as you can see there. Then I'll get me some more tape. Now I do the bottom, the same way I did the top. And once I get through with the tape, I get some plastic and just mask off all this area here and trim it out. I'll be good to go for us to break out. I got everything masked up. Let me show you what I got. I put the paper right here to keep that plastic from blowing onto my paint once I start spraying it. I'm trying to keep that old spray off the car. And I'm trying to hurry up before it get dark. Cause I want these painted before 
tomorrow because it's supposed to rain on me. Then once I paint these, I can pull the wheels on the inside and prep those up tonight and paint them in the morning. Let me mix up this uh, red. Three coats of the red. Now I spray my clear. I'm gonna spray two to three coats. All depends on how much I mix up. I think I'm gonna beat the dark now. following day we didn't get no rain last night we actually got lucky but it's supposed to come later on this is what the bright colors look like I think they turned out good I started doing some of the masking also last night I'm gonna take you on the inside and show you what I started on Yeah, I think it turned out good. Let's go on the inside. I started on these two last night. I got tired, so I went on in. Yes, I used newspaper. But I ran out of newspaper. Started using the regular masking paper. There ain't no problem using newspaper. I done seen folks not even mask up the wheels with the tires when they paint the wheels. Just get paint all over the tires. I still gotta do the back side on both of these and do both of them completely. We're gonna be trying out some new paint on these wheels. Got a new shipment in. It's gonna be the cheapest paint system you pretty much can buy. Base coat and clear coat. It's different brands. Once I get these here masked up, I unbox and show you what I got. Okay, this is what I'm doing. You can't use one piece of tape to do the whole wheel because you're not going to make that contour. So what you do, you just tear it in pieces like that. And you, then you just got to piece it together. I tried wiping this tire off with some wax and grease remover, which I don't think it's still because they arm all. It ain't sticking to the tire. So it's just gonna make my job a lot harder. Trying to keep this tape down 
try to get a whole piece all the way around the wheel. But this is how I'm doing it here. You see it ain't sticking to the tire there. That's why you want to make sure when you get through masking it up, wipe it down with some of this here. Wax and grease removal. Because if you don't, you're going to have wax and grease all up here, fingerprints on the wheel. Then when you start painting, the paint is not going to lay on the uh, surface like it should. You see how that tape coming up? Just got to take my time. It's always something. Let me finish this long enough, then I'll cut you back on. spray the wheels upright and once I spray the final coat of clear I'm gonna lay them down flat like this so the clear better level off and won't be able to run like that I still gotta wipe it down I'm gonna stand them up then I'm gonna wipe them down with wax and grease remover but before I do that I'm gonna show you this uh, this clear and this base coat I got all right let's get this open We'll open the base coat first. I ain't never tried none of this uh, base or the clear. But the owner didn't want to break the bank and be a good thing for me to try and see how it work out. I think this company here make different uh, factory colors, solid colors. For the base, it's called XL Auto Body Products Ebony Black Base Coat, part number seven zero one zero zero one. You will have to reduce it though, two to one. No, it's actually one to one. One part base coat, one part reducer. Two single coats or until full coverage is achieved. Five to ten minutes between coats. Flash time, 30 PSI. I thought it was two to one, but it's one to one. This the clear. No, this the activator, actually. The clear is right there. But it's called high tick. Medium activator. Pretty sure this photo one because I got a gallon of clear and a quart activator. That's all they sent was a quart. So it's got to be four to one mix ratio. The high tech 8000 value clear coat. Four to one. Two coats, two to five minutes between coats. Man, that's fast, though. Huh? Well, guess we'll wipe everything down with wax and grease remover. Get ready to shoot this uh, base coat and clear. See what it do. I think I'm ready to spray some paint now. 
So I got the wheels upright. I got them pushed up so I can get the faces of them real easy on this side. Then I put some old socks here to keep it from tilting over because I done had a wheel fall over on me one time. So I just got that to keep it from going forward. And once I finish spraying the last coat of clear, I'm just gonna lay it down, lay it down flat and let it dry up like that. Let's get this uh, black base coat mixed up. We'll start spraying. coats of the black I almost forgot about the centerpieces I'm glad I thought about them this base coat here is somewhat thick I guess that's why they want you to mix it one to one but it did its job now we're finna spray the clear I got it over here already mixed up mix this photo one I brought my clear up to the first three on the photo one section then I brought the activator up to the next three
scopes are clear. This clear ain't bad at all. As far as user friendly, it's really good. It's easy to spray for us. Like if you're just starting, you won't get no runs because you would have thought I would have got plenty of runs trying to spray all these different angles and stuff, but I was spraying all different ways and still didn't get no runs. But for spraying the whole car with this clear, I wouldn't recommend it because it takes so much for the, you know, for you to bury everything without no orange peel and then get that shine. High gloss clear, it's easy to get that shine, but high gloss clear, it's easy to run too. Well, not high gloss, but high solid clear. Cause this medium solid for real. Clear that mixes two to one. It's easy to run. It ain't user friendly if you ain't no professional or know what you're doing. I would suggest going with a, you know, clear like this here. Spraying a little small parts, but not no full car. But you could do it, but I wouldn't recommend it if you just start not spraying the whole car with it. It's gonna take a lot to get a gloss for us to hold car itself this clear like production clear spraying spot panels collision repair I would say it's good for that but you can see it got a gloss to it the question is is it gonna hold this gloss in the morning I'm gonna cut you back on and we're gonna see see if it got any die back or any kind of reaction Like I said on my last coat of clear, I laid them down just to self-level this clear on out, get it smooth, because standing up, it ain't going to, you'll have more orange peel spraying stuff standing up than laying it flat. Plus you have a chance of getting runs. Also, with it standing up, it's less trash when you're spraying stuff standing up. Then laying, laying it flat like this here because the trash is just laying in it. Here's the center caps. We're going to call it a night. Check back with you in the morning. It's been two days since I painted everything. It rained yesterday, so I wasn't able to put the wheels back on. But this is what the brake calibers look like. We're going to go on the inside. I'm going to ask the tires, and I'll show you those. Okay, here's the wheels after two days. Everything still looking good. See if we can get some of the mass. Good. Once I put the center cap on, I put this in here. Huh? We're gonna go ahead and install them. Then I give you another look at them.
never stop. Right from the bottom to the top, from the ground up, we'll right never the stop. Right from the bottom.